guys, it's Roman Kozak here from techclimax.com and today I'd like to bring you episode 4 of my Arduino tutorial series. In today's episode, we will be looking at relays. Now you may ask, what are relays? Well, I'm glad you asked. Well, relays, um, they're a great thing to have in your Arduino project whenever you need to control something that is under 120 volts and over Arduino's maximum 5 volt output. For example, if you want to control Christmas lights or your desktop light, you can do so with the Arduino now with the power of relays. So basically what a relay is, is it's um, this like magnetic coil and then when you apply 5 volts to it, it physically flips a switch inside. So for example, um, a relay could turn that off just with the... Um, just with some code in our, with Arduino. And actually the code that you use to program relays is very simple. It's just as simple as like digital write um, pin 13 high and your 120 volt source would turn on. Now I've been using our relays a lot lately to control 12 volt uh, powered devices with my Arduino. So uh, let's get started. The materials you will need for today's episode are as follows. A relay. This is a very standard relay that I got from SparkFun, uh, sparkfun.com. And um, it has two uh, of the coil pins down here where you connect ground and positive five volts. And also it has the common pin and the normally closed and normally open. So all together, this relay will have five pins. So um, I will leave all the part description, or all the part URLs in the description below. So you guys can go ahead and buy them if you don't already have them. Next, you will need a 330 ohm resistor. This will go on the transistor um, and then two digital pin two that we will use to talk to the relay. Also, you will need a transistor. And I'm using a 2N222 NPN transistor. It's very important that uh, the transistor is NPN or else this relay circuit may not work. And once again, all these part URLs will be in the description below. You will also need a rectifier diode, um, pretty small. And by the way, all of these are through hole parts. Pretty small. Okay, you will also need an Arduino. I'll be using the Arduino Uno because I uh, use it in every single episode. Also, um, you will need some jumper cables, if I can get this open, to connect stuff onto your breadboard. And you will also need a breadboard. Okay, and actually, by the way, our uh, relays come in a whole bunch of shapes and sizes. For example, this one is a lot bigger, looks a lot different uh, than this relay right here. Okay, so here comes the fun part. Now we get to do the breadboard design of the relay circuit. So just take your relay like so and plug it in at around the center of the board with um, the two pins on this side going to the left. Just like that. Now I've already set up, um, I've connected both ground rails here, and I've also set up my 12 volt supply on this side. So connect your 12 volt power and your 12 volt ground. And on this side I uh, set up my 5 volt power. So my 5 volt positive, my 5 volt ground, and that's just connected to my Arduino. So now what I want to do is take my diode and um, place it over the two pins here, over the relay. So it's connecting this side pin to that side. Okay, next I want to uh, take this jumper wire and just make a U shape and bring that like that. Okay, so all I'm doing is taking that pin right there and moving it over. I need to connect this side to positive 5 volts, so this side of the diode to positive 5 volts. Just like that. Then what we are going to do is take our uh, NPN transistor. And uh, this transistor has a collector, a base, and emitter. So you want to put the collector um, connecting into the same breadboard line as that U-shaped uh, jumper cable that we put in before. Just like that. 
OK, now you want to take uh, your 330 ohm resistor and plug it into the center of your transistor just like that. So you want to plug it into the base and just leave it hanging. OK, and to the emitter of the transistor, you would like uh, you need to connect that to ground. So just plug that into ground. So we're finished with um, the five volts. Now it's time to hook up our 12 volt circuit. So take the um, power cables that you want to um, power with the Arduino. So this wants to be powered by 12 volts. And what it is, it's an LED light strip that I can show you in a second. So um, here's my positive, here's my ground. You want to hook up the ground of your 12 volt um, device to the ground of your 12 volt rail and hook up the positive to um, the normally closed pin on the um, relay. So that's a pin the furthest down on the left side, right there. Okay, and if you connect it to the normally open, your LED light strip or your 12 volt supply will always stay on until you trigger this, then it will turn off. But I like to keep it off until I trigger it to put it on. Next, you want to connect uh, the common port of your relay, which is on this side, to positive 12 volts. Okay, um, our circuit looks done. Now I'm going to plug in my Arduino to the uh, computer for power. And as you can see here, here's my LED light strip. And if I just take my resistor and put this end of the resistor just to positive five volts, I should hear a click and the LED light strip should turn on. So yeah, you can hear that click because um, there's something that's physically moving a switch inside the relay. So you can just play with it. When I connect this 330 ohm resistor that's coming from the base of the transistor to positive five volts, it's doing that. Okay, so now what you want to do is just bring the resistor over and plug it into digital pin two of the Arduino. Now let's get on to the code, guys. And um, yep, I uh, see I have it up loaded. So I just have uh, the blink sketch uploaded. So it turns on for two seconds and turns off for two seconds. So it's really easy to control a 12 volt circuit. So guys, now let's go on to the code and write some pretty simple code to control this circuit. All right then, so let's get on to the code. The code is very simple. All you need to do is click File, Examples, and load up the basic Blink Sketch. And with this, um, we connected the relay to pin two. So let's just change that to pin two. And let's go Control F and LED. Let's change LED to relay. So go replace all. And now we have int relay equals two, pin mode relay equals output. And we are turning on the relay for one second and turning it off. So the way you turn on the relay, just um, digital write one to it, uh, set that pin high. And then the way you turn it off is setting it low. So uh, we can put this to two seconds and two seconds and then um, the code is finished, guys. Um, just click compile. It's, of course, going to be all right. And now you can just upload it to your Arduino board. Thanks for watching today's episode on relays. Don't forget you can find me anywhere online at Roman A. Kozak, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, my own personal site, Roman A. Kozak. And don't forget to check out my newest technology blog, techclimax.com. And techclimax is a technology blog that covers